Mocha Pro's remove module often seems like magic, and it can be a much easier solution than hand-done or even track-assisted roto-painting. However, in order to get a successful remove, we need to pay attention to planar tracking and project setup, including shooting with the remove module in mind. In this tutorial, I will show you how to remove this dog in the foreground over a painting background with minimal parallax, and how to troubleshoot your renders within the module. I will also show you some useful tips that can help Mocha Pro cleanly remove objects that might be less successful with After Effects Content Aware Fill or other auto remove tools. To start, I will drag and drop Mocha Pro onto my layer. I click on the Mocha button to launch the Mocha Pro interface. Using an X spline, I draw a roto shape around the head of the dog, and then using translation only, I track the head throughout the shot. Once the track is complete, I turn on the Uber key and widen my shape to cover the dog entirely. Think of the Uber key as a ripple offset. No matter what keyframes I have made, this transformation occurs over all of them. Then I switch back to Auto Key, and using the Quick Stabilize mode, I can pin the shape into the middle of my screen based on my track, and adjust the shape to cover anything like wagging tails or flapping ears. This shape defines the area we want to remove, and as a bonus, it also is a holdout mat for the tracks I need to make in order for the remove to work. Once I have completed that roto shape, I need to track the background. I need to draw a new shape, but because this remove is going over several planes, I need to define the multiplanar motion for the remove to work. In this case, I can get away with separating the remove tracks into two planes, the panning background and the ground plane. If there was a lot of parallax in the background, this would not be a good candidate for an auto remove, and I might need to resort to a more advanced clone and paint approach. However, since this is a quick sideways pan, we can get away with one large shape over the multiplanar houses and trees in the background to average the tracking data. So I draw a shape around my background house and trees, and then another on the ground, and I make sure my dog remove shape is at the top of the layer pile. Shapes at the top of the layer pile are held out from the shapes beneath them, so if you track from the foreground to the background, you will always have holdout masks. If your plane is moving in perspective, make sure you use the perspective option when you track. Now I track the background. Without a good track, the remove results will not be right. So make sure you take the time to get a rock solid track. When the track is finished, I can simply adjust my ground shape to always cover the ground and make sure the horizon line matches for the duration of the shot. And I also need to make sure that the background shape covers the entire remove area. When that is complete, I can click on the dog remove shape and jump over to the remove tab. Let's do a test render really quick. I can see at the beginning of the shot that the remove looks really rock solid. However, at the end of the shot, I have a few more lighting issues. If I switch illumination modeling to linear, the remove still doesn't look quite right, as you can see here in the motion. If I switch to interpolated illumination modeling, I get a flicker because of the quick lighting changes happening in the background over time. Basically, linear illumination modeling changes the hue, saturation, and value of everything in my remove shape uniformly based on the average pixel HSV surrounding the shape. While interpolate does a graduated and blended lighting adjustment based on the individual pixels surrounding the shape, Interpolate is really sensitive, and if used on the wrong shot, can cause some visual artifacts. So I am going to use a useful technique that will save me render time and make the remove look better. I am going to render and save multiple clean plates using illumination modeling, but space them out across the clip. And I will do it all in Mocha Pro. First, I look for problem areas in the remove using a linear illumination modeling. When I find a particularly oddly lit frame, I switch to interpolation mode and render as a single frame. And if I don't like the way it looks using interpolate, I can always switch to linear again and re-render. Or use no illumination modeling at all. 
It can help to also make a clean plate every 50 to 100 frames that looks good too, just to save me time. Then I hit the Create Clean Plate button. Now Mocha will save this rendered frame as a clean plate. I will do this in any sections I find poorly lit in the Remove and save them all. Before rendering, I will delete the keyframes for interpolated illumination modeling in the Remove Module Dope Sheet as I want one consistent setting across the clip in order to avoid any lighting artifacts. I check the checkbox for Use Clean Plates Exclusively, check the checkbox for Linear Illumination Modeling, and click on Render Forwards. Now, not only does my remove look much better, but there's a significant speed increase as well and less room for error because I have told Mocha exactly what clean frames to use. Now I can simply save and close Mocha, and back in After Effects, I can check the checkbox to render and use the drop down menu to select the remove module. Mocha will render back to my timeline. And this doesn't just work in AE, any host that Mocha supports can use this technique. So here is my before, and here is my after. And I am definitely happy with the results. If there were visible errors or artifacts in my remove render, I could use the new Silhouette Paint plugin from Boris FX to correct them with a Mocha assisted roto paint. And indeed, not everything is a good candidate for removes. Complex removes over organic objects like detailed wire removal and objects under transparent foreground elements like wispy hair can be better candidates for silhouette paint. While objects that move over planar data, that is, pixels moving all in the same direction with no transparent foreground occlusions, are good candidates for a quick remove. If you shoot for a nice and easy remove over clear planar data, you will get one. If you shoot first with no plan and want to fix it in post later, Mocha can definitely help save you time fixing your shot, but it might not be the magical one-click tool you imagine it to be. Shooting for Mocha Pro's remove module means doing things like tucking lav mic cords inside clothes so you have less to remove, and making sure the object you are trying to remove crosses over as few planes as possible. Make sure that the object you want to remove isn't moving over organic objects like trees, crowds, waves, or animals and people in multiple planes. In short, keep your boom mics over the walls and not over the talent, and life will be much easier. Be your own visual effects supervisor and shoot cleverly over the planar areas you know you can remove over so you can do less manual work when the time comes to really dig into post-production. To learn more about Mocha Pro and the newest addition to our Boris FX toolset, Silhouette Paint, please visit us at www.borisfx.com where you can find free training videos, official documentation, Boris FX news, artist interviews, case studies, and so much more.